you have a favorite time frame you trade or maybe a favorite pattern, here's a quick little two minute tip that might go a long way for you. Let's put two minutes on the clock. So just a high level review. We have a market analyzer here which we provide that will scan any pattern you want on any instrument that you put into it on any time frame that you like. Now when a pattern is found, it triggers a message into your alert log. So you will have a running list of patterns where the most recent one is gonna be up at the top. The thing is you might have a favorite time frame, even though you want to scan all the time frames, you might have specific time frames that you really do enjoy. One feature that many people don't use is using multiple tabs in the alert log. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. Okay, if this is your alert screen, you can click on this little plus button. It's very tiny here and it opens up a new tab. Now we're going to right click on that tab and rename it to high priority. Now the last step is to configure the high priority alerts to be shown. So what we're gonna do is right click anywhere in that blank area and go to the properties and uncheck or check the boxes so that only high is selected. Now our alert box is configured. So let's go over to the market analyzer. We're gonna right click and go to alerts. Along the left are all the alerts for all the patterns and timeframes that we've set up for you. I'm gonna make sure that the 60 minute and the four hour are gonna be high priority alerts. So click on the first one and then change the priority uh, so that the alert will be marked as high. So I've already done this for the 60 minute and the four hour. And when alert triggers now, it's gonna be marked as high priority. It will be sorted into that high priority alert tab that we just configured. So get creative. You can do this for low, medium, and high priority alerts. You can have a different tab for each one. If you use our XABCD News Pro tool, you can get pending news alerts also thrown in there too, or just even the high priority news alerts, right? You get the idea. If you want to use a news tool, we do have a paid version. We also have a free version. So check out this video that will show you the differences between the two. Of course, if you have any questions about setting this up, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to help. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell to get the notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next video.